You want to travel? Yes, please. And we are flying, guys. Oh. <laughs> we are flying, yeah. <laughs> this is amazing, guys. This is amazing. <laughs> I love it. Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Sarah Motabers and this is Stationer's video how to build a rocket. Before I will build anything, I need to drink coffee. So let's go here and there is my most favorite coffee mug. So, alright, the coffee mug is empty. So guys, if you want to buy me coffee, scan the QR code in top right corner. Thank you. This is a creative world, so I spawned all the items I need, so let's start with the launch pad. So the launch pad is 3x3, three three. I will place it here, just like that, but I need to finish it. So I will take this auto ring tool and let's finish it. So this is the launch pad. Next thing we need uh, the rocket engine. I'm going to place it in the middle, just like this. I need to finish it. Next we need the uh, rocket fuel tank. So this is the rocket fuel tank. Let's rotate it just like that. And I need to finish it as well. So let's do it. Next thing is uh, the cargo module. Because if you want to fly to a different planet, I'm sure you don't want to fly with empty hands. So this is the cargo module. I will finish it just like that and we need a command module so let's place it on the top of the rocket just like that and of course I need to finish it these are the planets where you can fly we will talk about it a little bit later so the module the command module is finished so we do have the basics for the rocket. It looks like this and I like it a lot. Now we need a few pipes to connect the fuel module. So I will do it this way, just like that and maybe this way. So I'm going to connect everything with the pipes or almost everything. I'm going to connect the last pipe over there because I want just the fuel. Maybe it will be changed later in the game, maybe not, so I don't know. But it works even without connecting the, the last connection on the top of this uh, rocket uh, platform. So let's connect everything. I need a little bit more pipes, just like that. And we will need, of course, the fuel for the rocket. So these are the pipes. So I will extend this pipe somewhere here. This should be fine. So I will drop the pipes and now we need to connect this launch pad with the power. So let's do it. Maybe just like that. Another connection. Oh shoot, I need a wire cutters in my hand. Just like that. And this is going to be the, the power for the launch pad. So let's get the wires somewhere here. Maybe here. So this should be fine. We will go through this pipe and let's do something like this it is going to be easier for us to connect the chips we need next thing what i need is one writer i am going to place it here just like that and one memory so the memory is here perfect we need to program the memory to the number of the planet we want to go. So I would like to fly to the moon. We need to program the memory to this number. So this is the number of the moon. We do have the memory 
programmed. So let's finish our very basic logic circuit. So logic writer. All right, I'm going to do it a little bit easier for you guys so that you will understand what I'm talking about. So let's disconnect the memory. So the memory is uh, directly connected to this logic writer. So let's do it. So we need a screwdriver. So input of this logic writer is this memory, just like that. The output is the rocket launch pad and the output is setting. I need to get some juice for this logic writer and the launch pad. So I will take this RTG generator. I will place it here and now I can turn on the logic writer. So everything is running and the rocket is still here. Perfect. So now we need fuel for the rocket. If you are lazy like me, you will use these atmospherics units but we will switch it to electrolyzer just like that so that's one and i will place one more here so another ele electrolyzer so i will use some pipes maybe just like this i'm going to connect this uh, electrolyzer to our pipe network just like that and of course i need the wrench so let's do it so we have the pipes connected and now we need some water for the electro electrolyzers i will place these uh, tank connectors somewhere here so one and one over there just like that few more pipes to connect them to electrolyzers just like that so T section here, T section maybe or pipe here, T section here, one corner and some straight pipes, just like that. So I will get rid of these pipes. Now we need some heavy cables and we will need power for this electrolyzer. So let's connect it this way. So the cable will go around, it will go through the pipe and we need another connection for the second electrolyzer. So corner here and I need wire cutters again, just like that. And I will place one RTG generator here. I'm using this RTG generator just because this is a creative world and I don't want to build a, some kind of a power plant just to power these two electrolyzers. So, we are almost finished. I will wrench down these uh, water tanks. One here and one... <laughs> okay. And one over here, so just like that. Oh, that, that looks fine. So let's use the wrench. So this is one tank with the water and this is the other one. And now I will start these electrolyzers. When I will watch this coach here, uh, we can see the, the water pressure is dropping very fast because these electrolyzers are very, very fast. And they do exactly the fuel for the rocket. Like the mix is perfect. So we have almost zero APA in these water tanks. So I'm going to disconnect them and I will place there two more water tanks. Just like that. So I'm going to kick this one somewhere, right? And the other one as well. And I will replace them with uh, full water tanks. So okay, that doesn't want to go there. So one here again. And one over here. And I'm, I'm going to wrench them down again with the wrench. The game says it needs, the, the rocket needs uh, 8000 of moles of fuel. So I will check the pipes. I'm checking the pipes and we do have more than 9000 9, moles of the fuel in this uh, pipe. So we are fine. 
but before we will fly anywhere I would like to take something with me with this rocket I'm almost ready to fly but I'm going to take my coffee mug with me I'm not going to leave it on Mars it goes with me to the moon so this is the chest or crate full of goodies I'm going to load it into the rocket ouch I'm hitting everything with the ro in the rocket so <laughs> let's get inside the rocket just like that you need use wrench to wrench it down just like that and we have it inside the cargo module of the rocket so I'm going to close it and maybe we can fly but before you fly anywhere guys I strongly suggest to save the game to a different save I would like to join Rocketworks team as a station years tester let me know what you think about it in the comments thank you bye bye Mars let's fly to the moon engage you want to travel yes please and we are flying guys oh <laughs> we are flying yeah <laughs> this is amazing guys this is amazing <laughs> I love it so I just landed hopefully not crash landed on the moon so let's go out and let's take a look so this is the remains of the rocket and somewhere here should be the crate okay here it is nice so this is the crate with the stuff which I brought from Mars and of course like if you want to go to a different planet rice and a cereal bar and a coffee mug is not enough to get you started so you need some tools and you know guys like the basic stuff so this is it guys how to build a rocket and how to fly to a different uh, planet thank you very much guys for watching I will see you in the next one this is the way